What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here, welcome back to the channel, and today we have some more new cards to talk about in today's video. Those new cards include some brand new Unchained Soul cards, as well as some new support for, for the Drytron or Sardic archetypes. Yeah, you guys must have forgot that those two archetypes... kind of came came to a to a mutual agreement for some reason. Yeah, this is going to be rather interesting. But but before we get into today's video, guys, we are 42 subs away from 200. We are drawing closer and closer to the goal and as as I have said in previous videos, if this channel gets to 200 subs, I will open up this Korean Strike of Neos booster box in, in its entirety on the channel, completely sealed under un, under the right light. You can actually see, like right, like right there. There it is under un, under the right light. It is completely taped. So on the hopes to potentially pull this guy, El, Elemental Hero Air Neos. However, if the channel gets to a thousand subs. I will open up this first edition Toon Chaos box in its entirety on the channel. So if you guys, so if you guys want to see these boxes get opened, and you get, let me rephrase. So if you guys want want to see these boxes get opened, you guys want to see more, you guys want to see more premium live event predictions and results. You guys want more card, new card discussions, WWE news deck profiles my channel is the place to be so if you guys are new to the channel a channel and you guys want to see those types of videos here on here on the channel subscribe hit the bell follow me on all of my social media my ads will be in the the description below as will the info to my fan mail it will also be in the description as well if you guys want to send any fan mail with that being said Shoutouts to Brisk. Oh, by the way, yeah. Shoutouts to Brisk for the for the regular lemonade, best lemonade of all time. Don't at me in the comments. That and and the pink lemonade. Anyway, guys, let's get straight into it with the un with the new Unchained Soul cards. And I'm gonna be honest, looking at these cards, I'm actually fairly impressed that they were finally getting all getting some new Unchained support. We didn't get get that much support over. over over the last several years, but but I'm actually I'm I'm actually excited for it because Unchained didn't I don't think we saw the deck become competitively meta. But it's gonna but it'll be interesting to say the very least. So let's get straight into it. Kicking things off, there's a note under there there's a note on top that says that says that says as a note the the TCG naming scheme for these cards means the proper nouns are likely going to be removed and we get something like Crimson Unchained Soul and Azure Unchained Soul. The likely intention to avoid offending highly conservative members of the Hindi faith living in Western nations. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, so big shout outs. Big shout outs to... To... Um, to all of my Hindi fans out there who watch who watch my videos, shout outs to you guys. This is gonna be interesting. Um, this will be in this will be interesting, guys. So let's get started. Kicking things off, we have Unchained Soul Sharvara. I believe how it's pronounced. I probably I probably butchered it. I I apologize. But 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 it's a six star fire fiend with two thousand attack, fifteen hundred defense. Both of its effects are once per turn, and the first effect reads, During the main phase, if this card is in your hands as a quick effect, you can target one fiend monster or set or or one set card you control, destroy it, and if you do, special summon this card, and if you do that, you cannot special summon monsters while it is face up on the field, while it is face up in, in the monster zone. <coughs> Excuse me. 
excuse me, except for Fiend Monster. So this is essentially a this is essentially a Cyber Dragon. And what's cool about this is that is that is that you can target any any monster, any Fiend Monster that they have at, have on board. Send it to your to your graveyard. Trigger off its effect if it had if it has any effects in in the grave. Go into go into into another body and and, and you can just and you can just 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 combo off from there and then just link off the monsters into an unchained un, unchained abomination which in which abomination is a board wipe which is pretty cool that's actually pretty pre, pretty cool uh the second effect reads if if this card is sent to 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 the graveyard you can set one unchained spell or trap directly from your deck all right i mean that's pretty good i mean being able to just to to set to set to set an, any spell or trap to your back row, that's pretty good. It could be literally, it could be anything. It could even be a floodgate for all we know. That's pretty cool. There's a note underneath that says, "This is Sharvara, one of the two hounds hounds that that serve King Yama, god of the underworld in Hindu and Buddhist beliefs." Okay, all right, nice little, a nice little. Uh, a nice, nice little history lesson, I guess you could say. That's pretty cool. Uh, next up, we have Unchained Soul Shayama, which is a six-star water fiend with with 2,000 attack, 1,500 defense. I believe it's the same. Yeah. <clears throat> and and both of its effects are are once per turn. Uh, the first effect reads reads you can target one card you control, destroy it. Then you can destroy a spell trap on the field. I mean, it does. I, I mean, it's basically a. It's basically a one for one, which isn't, which is, not too bad. But it does, it does force you to lose tempo, which is a bit, which is a bit of a downfall. But, but as but as long as you're able to combo off and and go in and go go into your board, you're you pretty much you pretty much have have, have game right there, which is pretty cool. Um. Uh, the second effect reads: If this card is, is in your grave, you can target one fiend monster or one set card you control, destroy it, and if you do, special summon this card, but place it on the bottom of the deck when it leaves the field. It is, it is, it it is a great way to to bring to put it back back into your deck, but for but for the most part, you're gonna end up using using both Shyama and um and uh, Shar. Sharvara to go into a rank six for 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 the most part, um, which is probably what you want to do the most. I think like I think some of the best rank six that that, that you can go into are uh, Pilgrim Reaper and I want to say Beatrice, Lady of the Eternal. But I think Beatrice is. I think B. Be I think Beatrice requires you to detach a material from 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 an Xyz monster and use those use both that monster plus the the Xyz monster plus its materials uh, to go into your um, into your into Beatrice. I think. Um, Sorry guys, S -s sorry guys. I just, I'm on, I'm, I'm on YouTube right now, and apparently, uh, apparently, uh, what, uh, what culture is in, is interviewing uh, WWE superstar Xavier Woods. So I, 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 I apologize. Big shoutouts to, 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 to what culture? Not sponsored. Um, not sponsored by them. No copyrights by them, as always. Just a big shout out. Anyway, anyway, I will. Any, anyway, I'll be, I'll, I'll be, I'll be watching that later on. But anyway, but anyway, uh, next up. Uh oh, right, right, Shyama. There, there's a note, there's a note un underneath that says, that says this is probably Shyama, one of the two hounds that ser that served King Yama, god of the underworld, in Hindu and Buddhist beliefs. So this is the so 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 this is the, so. 
This is the the other hound that that served King Yama. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's a nice little a nice little history lesson right there. And speaking of King Yama, we have Unchained Soul King Yama, which is a Dark Fiend Link Two with with two with with two thousand attack, and its arrows are bottom left and bottom right, and requires two fiend monsters. And both of its effects effects are once per turn. The first effect reads reads if if this card is special summon, you can add one Unchained Monster from your deck or grave to your hand. So, for the most part, you're going to end up probably adding, like, adding, uh, oh, oh, what's that one? I think, I think, I think, what is it, the four star? I think, I don't, I, I don't remember, but I, I think, I think that's, like, that's probably, like, the best, your best option, but, but, but then again... Then again, you can just add pretty much any, any card, any any unchained card you want, or rather, any unchained monster from from your deck, deck great to your hand. Combo off, go into you know unchained abomination, go into cards like like Baron, Appaloosa, and you basically have have your board right there, which is pretty cool. Uh, uh the second effect reads reads if a card or card to control is destroyed by battle or card effect. While this card is in your grave, you can banish this card, special summon a fiend monster from your hand or grave, then you can destroy a card you control. Okay, so this is essentially a cyber ref system with a sort of like a sort of like a trap hole MST MST like like effect, which is a great which is a great a great way to not only Oh 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 hang on guys. My brother my brother just texted me, hang on guys. Give me one second. There we go. Anyway, anyway, it's a great way to to not only un to not only unbrick your board, but it's also a great way to try to to summon out any 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 fiend monster that, that you have in your hand that'll that'll let you combo off and then and then you can just pop pop any card any card on 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 your board that basically lets you that basically acts as a brick to your board which is pretty cool there's a note underneath that says that says that says this card is named after Yama, Lord and Master of the Underworld in Buddhism and the and the Hindu Hindi faith. Nice little history lesson there, guys. Nice little history lesson. Again, again, big shout outs to all of my all of my Hindi fans out there. Um, shout out, shout out, sh shout outs to to you guys. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that. That in that in the TCG, we're definitely gonna be getting something different. We're gonna be, we're definitely gonna be getting something different other than this. Um, but then again, knowing Konami, we might get these names. Who the fuck knows? Who the fuck knows? But we do gotta move on into the Ursardic and Drytron cards. And I'm gonna be honest. Um, there's there's only two cards to talk about in this video, unfortunately, but. I'm, but I'm actually excited because because these two cards I think are are the exact cards that 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 the deck that that the Drytron deck needed to become full power because because even though even though we did because even though Cyber Angel Benton I think now is back up at three the deck is still is, is still playable. But the problem, but the problem is that there are so many outs to the Drytron deck. It's pretty bad. It's pretty. It's it's become not a bad deck, but more of a less competitive deck, I'll say. And um, these two cards might be might just be the ones that could potentially help make make the deck meta. So we kick things off with. With Ultimate Knight Alpha Alpha Ursatron, which is a which is a which is which is a seven star water machine with two with two thousand attack, seven hundred defense, and it says that this card is always treated as an Ursardic and Drytron card. 
and the effect and the effect is a once per turn, but but it says that it cannot be normal summon summoner said must be special summoned by a card effect. And and the effect reads 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 if you control an Ersardic or Drytron monster other than other than this card, you can you can special summon this card from your from your hand, then you can add one Ersardic or Drytron spell or trap from your deck to your hand. So this is Again, this is a Cyber Dragon spell and trap road of where where it, where you're able to go just add add any any spell or trap to your hand that has Ursaric or or Drytron in in its name and you, and you can just combo combo off from there, break your opponent's board and you can just go and, and you can just go off from there, which is really nice. This is exactly what I was talking about with with the fact that there are so many outs to 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 the to the to the Benton to print to literally literally all of the cyber angels that are that are potentially in the in the Drytron deck this this is one this is this card a card like this is what the deck needed for the most part now we have another level one synchro monster. This is probably the dumbest thing I've ever seen, but this is exactly what what the deck truly needed was these two cards right here, including this one, which is known as Ursardic Polar Star, which is a which is a one star water machine synchro with the reverse attack and defense of of Alpha. Ur Ursatron, instead of it being 2,000 attack and 700 defense, it's 700 attack and 2,000 defense. And it says that, that, it cannot, that it cannot be synchro or something, it must be special summoning from your extra deck by sending two monsters to monster control with a level difference of one to the graveyard. So, it's, so it would be a tuner and a non-tuner. So in this case, it would be what? What? Like what? A four star tuner plus a five star non tuner maybe? I don't know, never really thought about it. But but it has a singular effect that reads that reads as follows. You can tribute one level eight or Sonic monster from your hand or field and this card. Special summon a level seven or Sardic Synchro from your extra deck, ignoring some of your condition, and if you do, it gains this effect. Your opponent cannot activate activate the effects of monsters. Special summon from the extra deck that has a level. This literally locks your opponent into into nothing but links and exceeds monsters, which is nasty. That is a nasty, nasty card. This is essentially um. <sighs> Excuse me. This is essentially a dimensional barrier, but. But with, but in the form of a, of a, but in, in the form of a, of, of an Ursardic Synchro Monster. That is nasty. That is pretty nasty. Again, this is, this is exactly what, what I was talking about. Because of the fact that there are so many outs to, to Benton, cards like, uh, Cyber, Cyber, Cyber Angel Natasha, uh, Cyber Angel Edithin, Cyber Angel Dakini, which are, which are, which are some of the main components for for a Drytron deck. This is exactly what 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 the deck needed to become a top not not a top tier deck, but more of a tier more of a tier more of a tier two deck, if you will. Cre you know you know you know creep its way back up into the competitive scene. This is exactly what what the deck needed. But honestly, guys, looking at, at these cards. This will be interesting to say the very least, but that brings me that brings me to the question of the day, which is this. What are your guys' thoughts on the new on the new Ursardic slash Drytron cards? And will the Drytron deck become meta once again? Let me know down in the comments below, and that will do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more, more new card discussions in the future which get posted on tuesday and sometimes on wednesdays and weekends make sure you guys subscribe to the channel turn on the turn on the notification bell follow me 
Follow me on all of my social media. My ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It, it will also be in the description as well if you guys want to send any fan mail. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.